Jolly Farm family, welcome to another episode of The Farm. If you're new here, you are most welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells on not to miss out on any episodes of The Farm. And of course, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for loving Value Farm. Thank you so much for loving us. We really appreciate you guys so much. Well, guys, we are back at the farm. It's a beautiful day. The sun is right here. We are so happy. You know what? At least the rains have reduced. And we are so excited that at least our goats will have enough to feed since we are a free range goat farm here. So we are really excited about that. And of course, there's a lot that has been happening all the morning, like every activity that happens in a farm. We are here to always update you guys what is happening at Value Farm, just to motivate someone out there, to inspire someone out there who is really thinking about goat farming to start or even, you know, to start planning on it exactly. So we are right here. It's a beautiful day. The goats have already fed, as you can see, they're quiet at this point. But in the morning when we had just come, you know, they were a little grumpy because they wanted to eat something. Just because it is a routine that we have at the farm that we do feed, we do feed them with some grain in the morning before they go out to the field to, to graze. And of course, you know, with goat farming, you have to have a feeding schedule. Goats also have a balanced diet that they feed on every day. That's why you don't have to really leave them to only go to the field to gun graze, but they also give them some other additional feeds, like some protein given to them. We have the soya, we have the bran, we have the pellets. I remember there's a video that I uploaded previously about goats and the feeding. And of course, most of you were advising us that you can also get your own pelletizer, which is really okay if you can afford it well and good so that you can make your own pellets to cut the costs yes that is feedback for us of course that will also come definitely so that we can also make our own pellets but at the moment we are still buying them but i know within at least this year this year coming up because we are still we are now in the end of the year but i know by next year we shall have our own pelletizer that we shall make our own pellets here at the farm so that we can feed more of these goats right here. Because for this different section that you can see here, these are only strictly the high crosses. We have the high crosses, then we have the pures right here from South Africa. So we divided them into different sections and we also separated their housing as well because we wanted to really care for them in a much more different way. Not that we are not caring for the others, we are also caring for the others, but this one's right here because of their genetic composition we have to really take extra care of them so for this ones here these are cross high cross percentages or high crosses that we have right here so in the morning they feed on the soya mixed with the pellets mixed with the brand same to the south african and we also measure the quantity that we really feed for them and we measure per goat so we know the number of goats that we have at the high crosses and we also know the numbers of goats that we have which are pures so for feeding we don't want to waste food just putting in the troughs in the feeding troughs to waste and maybe give them that they cannot even finish because with the goat feeding if you're giving them most the grains it is not really advisable for you to give much of the grain to the pregnant goats so we really limit when they're expectant we really limit on the grain they take so they can eat more of the shrub outside and of course after feeding like this we have our water points ready for them so they can gun drink before they go outside to graze in the fields because this is quite heavier for them in the morning so the grain is right here they are done already they are resting a little bit then of course they go outside because the sun is already out at least the dew is off the ground because we don't want them to go when the ground is really very wet because it will it will affect their hooves we already have so many goats right here that have that were affected because of the rains because i told you guys we've been having rains there for a long time so most of the goats have foot rot but we are treating it at least we are trying our best to make sure that they are treated properly and they are monitored the ones that are really worse do not go to the field they remain and we monitor them in our exercising yet that i'm going to share with you guys shortly so that is basically what really happens in this house right here and of course if you have any questions about this housing about the feeding about the breeds that we have here leave your comments down below so that we can get to you we can answer all your questions because i want to share everything with you guys 
and you also learn from what we are doing right here. Any pieces of advice, you can also leave your comments down below. But I just wanted to take you guys along with us today so that we can see what is happening at the farm, different activities that are really happening. Yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Really, there's really nothing much. Our maize is also growing so perfectly. I'm so excited about it. I hope I will definitely do a B-roll. I can show you guys the corn that we currently have at the farm. But yeah, that is it actually for here. Let's leave these goats to relax. They are quiet, they are fed. Some of them are still, you know, trying to see whether there are, there's some little feed in the, in the feeding traps, which is really very, very good. The kids were also fed already in the morning because they, we release them out to feed with the moms, then we separate them. That's how it is this other side, this other section of the farm. Yeah, the goats right now, another thing that I wanted to really share with you guys out there, especially about preparation on rainy seasons, because when the rains are really too much, it becomes very difficult to keep goats, especially if they're on free range. So if you don't have, if you have not planted enough grasses for them, then it's going to be a challenge for you. So prepare your feeds early enough, make sure that you plant the alfalfa, the brocaria grass, you have, you have your elephant grass already, the supernapia planted, enough of it so that you can feed your goats in such seasons that they cannot be able to go to the field as well. But also, of course, with the people who can make their own pellets, their own silage, that is good enough for you so that you can definitely make sure that you keep your goats healthy and they do not really become smaller in size because the more they become smaller, it is difficult for them to recover. It takes a longer time for them to really recover. Yes, guys, let's leave this here. Let's go to a different section so that we can see what's actually happening. Let's go. Well, guys, this is the exercising yard for the goats. It's quite a very big space for them to use. And um, this is a place where goats come to relax early in the morning, especially when the goat house is being cleaned. Then also sometimes when we just bring them out to just exercise, to play, to sunbathe. So this is the place for them. So for the exercising yard, cleanliness is key. You have to make sure that the compound is clean. All the weeds in the compound are weeded. So that's what really happens. But now for this case right here, we had a challenge. It has been rainy season and the rains have not really stopped for over four months and the weed in the exercising yard were really growing rapidly. So one part of the section of the exercising yard, we had weed or weeds or some little grasses growing up, which really became a problem to us. So here I'm just trying to explain to our workers and one of the managers to make sure this is weeded since the sun is out since at least we don't have rains the rains have really reduced they have to make sure that the compound is cleaned thoroughly yes so this has to be cleaned properly this has to be weeded and at least what i told them to do was to clean that very day not to risk our goats to come in the exercising yard and also sleep on these weeds right here because the more they sleep in the weeds that's when they will they will get diseases that's why we make sure that it is cleaned and we sweep it every day and outside right here so this has to be done these are some of the things that we really come here to check and make sure that everything is really done because now like this other section right here this has not been cleared in a long time but just because the excuses the rain the rain was too much they couldn't get the time to really try and dig and clear the compound but today everything has to be worked on and of course with the instructions they have to be followed as well yeah guys i want to show you guys the maze we are just surrounded with the maze everywhere i'm super excited for this time of course with the progress of this maze let me take you guys to this other section right here and you see what i'm talking about all this is our maze really nice really really nice guys look at the maze we are really so happy that this maze is growing so well so far 
So the whole place is full of the maize. And this time round we are preparing because I realized the other time that we also harvested, we contracted um, some of the village people to come and help us harvest the maize. But I think some of the maize was stolen or some of the maize was taken to their homes because of little supervision that we, we had. But this time round, we are going to really supervise properly because the problem that one of the problems that we faced last time, we harvested the maize. Most of it was have the cobs were harvested and left in the field. Then they could come and pick it up like after days and all that. But this time round, we are going to be extra careful on how we are going to harvest this. I'll definitely take you through the process as well if we get the chance that we are here when we are harvesting the maize because the harvesting I think affected most of the maize that we had because maybe some was left in the field or the people who were harvesting when they came to the field they came and took it away like in the night or whatever we don't know what really happened because the amount of maize that we planted is not exactly what we got we harvested later on what we expected to harvest but this time round we are well prepared we have already contacted the few people that we are going to be putting in charge to make sure the harvest is yielded properly we are there to monitor we are there to supervise every single maize that is going to go to our store because after harvesting we have to leave it to dry in fact it's going to dry in the field but we have to harvest the cob put it to our store that we are going to leave it to dry better then of course we take it to them to what we keep it in the sacks but i will show you the whole process but the mistakes that we made was to leave everything to the person we contracted and the person wasn't around all the time to supervise the people who are really harvesting the maize and we lost a lot of it but those are life lessons we learned from our mistakes and it will never happen again but of course those who really appreciated our efforts this time round because i showed you in the previous video how it was this is the the fruits of learning from your mistakes yeah i just wanted to share with you guys all this but let's go let the goats outside because it's time for them to get outside to at least receive the sun because the herdsmen are down at the lower section of the farm they are coming right here so that they can take them out but they also need to receive some sunlight and also exercise a little bit so let's go release these goats outside right now benja let's release so that they get outside Well guys, we are right here. This goats are in the compound, relaxing. This is their exercising yard. They, so they also love to sunbathe before they go out in the field. So that's what is actually happening right now. As you can see, some of them already, they love the, the raised surfaces. As you can see that anthill, that's why we didn't really clear it. Even this other section right here, there's an anthill. So it is quite raised, so they love raid surfaces so that is basically it the compound was cleaned earlier on the compound was cleaned already so cleanliness is key we have already swept the main house where they were from then also the compound was cleaned the south african goats are not are separated from these ones right here that's why you're hearing that noise right there they're still in the house but we are going to release them anytime soon so that they can also come to the exercising yard. Yeah, that is basically it guys. So we are going down to the other side of the farm so that we can see how it is that other section and what is really happening at the other side of the farm really. But I'm happy that you guys have been following us on this journey together. You guys have been supportive on the journey so far. We really appreciate you guys so much. Well guys, we shall be coming up with other episodes very soon, but if you have not checked out our social media platforms, you are missing out. 
please check out our Instagram, that is Value Farm UG, Facebook Value Farm, TikTok Value Farm. Go see behind the scenes and also get inspired, get some motivation so that we can start off the new year very well. Yes, but tell a friend to tell a friend. Till next time, bye.